Kreitzer for CBSI Services and Pace, a professional association for customer engagement. I get a chance to talk with Jim Ayub, who is the Chief Customer Officer at eTech. And Jim, good to see you. How's the conference been for you so far? Uh, thanks, Ken. It's great. It's, uh, it's As always, we love the Pace event. We love what they all do here. From a learning exercise, there's just so much knowledge to share amongst their, our peers. It's just great to be here. Very good. Well, you just led a session talking about uh, different ways customer uh, uh, AI, artificial intelligence can be used to, uh, to work in contact centers. Why is artificial intelligence such an important ingredient now in contact centers? So that's a great question. What we're seeing in the marketplace is customer experience is what everybody's talking about. And when you incorporate artificial intelligence and machine learning with human intelligence with data scientists, that's the recipe for success. Because if you look at the consumer, their expectations have changed. And when their expectations have changed, you have to evolve to meet those expectations and your customers will be happier. Okay. Now, you mentioned machine learning. That's kind of a new terminology for, for many. And uh, what, what is the advantage? What's involved with machine learning in your application? So in machine learning, it actually, you can teach it to think like a human. And that's revolutionary. Because in a lot of the artificial intelligence you see, it's just words. When you're able to take machine so it can learn based on what the data scientists are doing, now you've evolved to actually learn processes, process improvements, training gaps, and of course, agent performance. Very good. Well, at CBSI, we do a lot of work in the financial service area, specifically in credit cards. And I got to imagine maybe there's an, an application there, anything in financial services that, uh, that you're uh, working on. Well, if you think about financial services, I think the number one pain point is channel switching. And, and that's what we're seeing a lot in the financial services. Why can't I do something online? And if you listen to the millions of phone calls going through there, the first thing they said is, I'm calling you because I was online and couldn't do this. Well, that's a huge ROI, because if I can tell you what your preferences from your customers are, how they want to interact with you, that would save you money. Very good. Maybe talk, tell us a little bit more about uh, the services that eTech Global Services offers. So eTech Global Services, we're a traditional contact center, BPO. However, our secret sauce is eTech Insights. That's where we take information, we use the human intelligence and artificial intelligence to drive that customer experience for many of the top brands in the world. What, what are some of the challenges that you're working with your clients on? As you, as you mentioned, you're using artificial intelligence, machine learning. What are, so, what are some of the challenges that you're helping your clients with? So most of the customers that come to us want to improve customer experience, reduce effort, reduce channel switch, and improve conversion rate. Where, where are your contact centers loaded? What, car, what part of uh, the country? So we're a global company. We have four in Texas, one in West Palm Beach, Florida, one in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and two in India. That's great. Jim, if you would just tell us a little bit about your career. I know you mentioned having been at Dun & Bradstreet in New York City at one point. I was with Dun & Bradstreet um, back in the old days. I came to eTech in 2000. I'm a 30-year veteran in the contact center space. Started as an agent and worked my way up to the chief customer officer over the 30 years I've been doing this. That's great. Maybe what's the history of the company? Uh, uh, you mentioned you've been there for 30 years. What, what, how has it evolved? I mean, there's been so many changes in the contact center industry over the years. So eTech was born and bred in 2003. And uh, it used to be a publicly traded company. It was part of the Barry Direct Companies. Um, our president was able to find an investor. We took the company private. It was one contact center. Today we have eight. So we've seen everything from dialers, technology changes, to people. At the heart of any company, though, it's all about the leadership. Everything rises and falls on leadership. When you have a servant-led leadership organization, you will prosper more and more year after year. Very good. Now, you've, 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 uh, you led one presentation, you introduced another. Uh, what have been uh, the one or two biggest idea, ideas that you have heard here at the PACE event in Atlanta? So I think some of the biggest things I've heard so far is about technology. The underestimating the future of technologies is tough because there is so much technology that enables to reduce effort, improve customer experience. So we all got to be looking at the next millennial or next generation of people who don't have patience. Jim, you are an enthusiastic guy and uh, I led a great session today. It was great to hear a little bit of it and uh, uh, great to see you here at the PACE conference. Thanks so much, Ken. You guys have a great day. Appreciate the opportunity.
Uh, my pleasure. This is Ken Kreitzer for CVSI Services and PACE, the Professional Association for Customer Engagement in Atlanta, Georgia.